making the uh, bushings uh, out of this piece of gunmetal bar. Um, the reason I've got it in the steady and between centres is the bar itself is too big to go up the spout of the chuck. So rather than cut the bar up into smaller pieces, which is very wasteful because you always end up with a, a piece to chuck to, I can do it this way and uh, save material just by parting stuff off as I move along. Now that's the reason for this uh, sort of uh, elaborate setup.
Okay, we've uh, turned and drilled and threaded um, uh, the boiler bushings and this particular size here uh, for such things as the water gauge, um, clack valves, washout plugs, etc. The two smaller ones here, they'll form the um, exit and entry for the uh, steam blower. And these four, um, these are just blind um, bushings which in the fullness of time, once they're soldered into the boiler, they'll be threaded 4BA and they will hold the, uh, the door assembly on. Um, moving on to the um, uh, steam turret, rework these holes to be uh, half inch, uh, not three eighths that I drilled them originally. And I've also uh, put a, made a banjo union and this will um, allow steam well, through via this hole which should be positioned underneath which it will be in in time when I get a correct washer um, but that will be the steam supply under the um, turret to a pressure gauge here uh, further to the uh, structure of the boiler um, what I've done here is just marked up um, a quarter inch and on both tube plates and what I'm going to do there is drill the boiler barrel and then drill through here on that on that line and uh, place some rivets in there some copper rivets um, and that's purely just to hold the thing in place uh, while the whole lot gets silver soldered um, so I've got it set up on the drill here I've marked out the correct position this this is for the uh, top tube plate um, so we'll we'll drill that now got to be careful with this soft copper, you, know, it, it, you see how it grabbed the drill there, especially as you're breaking through the other side. I'm surprised it didn't try and screw itself through. But anyway. Right, try it for size on this uh, eighth copper rivet. Try it the other way. Clean that out a bit, I think. Typical, 
Well, trust me, it will go in. Uh, <laughs> what these will do, they'll be fit from the inside through the tube plate and through to the outside here. The whole thing will be silver soldered, including these uh, rivets. And then after the event, what you'll have is a piece of rivet sticking through the boiler barrel like that sort of thing. And they'll be just filed flush then. But the idea is it'll just hold the plates in position while we're silver soldering because as the whole thing heats up there'll be a tendency for the plates to move and go skew with so if we've got a number of these in place it should uh, hold it just so that's the plan anyway right try to show the rivet going through last time i've just deburred the holes and hopefully this time i'll be able to uh, prove that they go through find the bloody hole there we go so there we have it so when this is in place in here that rivet will pass through this this uh, flange that's colored blue on that uh, scribed line and then through the boiler barrel here the domed head will remain on the inside of the uh, tube plate uh, but the outside, once silver soldered, that will be uh, taken flush with the boiler barrel. Okay, I've um, placed the tube plate in the uh, boiler barrel here and gingerly just lowered it down bit by bit until we can see, I don't know whether you can see it on that one, but the scribed line that was around the periphery of the um, tube plates you can just see it there the line in down that hole so that center line now is uh, um, in the same position of these uh, holes in the boiler barrel now what I can do now is drill through there and get the first rivet in once that's in, in position we can um, drill all the rest and uh, get those rivets in and uh, we can consider that tube plate positioned. Right, I've uh, drilled through off camera. Um, that's the first hole. And I think you just see that pimperica light there at the top of the picture. That's the first hole through the flange and through the, uh, the boiler barrel itself. That will take the first rivet. Right, that's the uh, first tube plate in position. Um, held in position by four copper rivets. Um, as you can see, they're a, quite a slack fit, and that will allow the silver solder to penetrate around and through the um, boiler barrel. So, so far, so good. <laughs> 